Hello, welcome back. It's the Swindon lot, and I got a lot for you. A lot of Swindon. That's what I've got. Anyway, first game, uh, we've got five games to show you, I think. All wins, though, are form, as you can see from the bottom there. Three losses, uh, two wins. We're actually doing very well, though. Second in the league. I'll show you that in just a moment. So, the first game was against Huddersfield. We won 3 1. Uh, Bonner got the first. Wells for them got the second. Mason then comes good for us. Uh, he hits the post, but gets the rebound in. No problemo. And then he even slots home the third for us as well. So he's finally coming good, um, especially in this sort of run of games. He's adapting to that shallow striker position. Uh, he thwacks that one home with a, with a plum. He loves it. Uh, yeah, he's finally coming good for us. Um, he's not in our top performer by any means, but he's certainly putting himself about and making himself a nuisance, which is what we need. Uh, the next game was a 1-0 win against Ipswich. A couple of 1-0s, actually. The first one against Ipswich. Uh, the goal coming from Kenny McAvoy. Kenny Muck. Uh, on loan from Tottenham. Still still with us. Still doing well, actually. He's come on from last year, which is always pleasing to see. Uh, another he, Well, uh, look, much was made of Tanner and the fact he was on loan for two seasons, but McAvoy has now done the same thing. So, uh, part of the family is how I like to look at it. Uh, Enriquez gets that goal on the turn. He's an absolute monster i love him um next game going into a game against reading obviously we've had a reading game relatively recently but we played him again uh 3-1 win they get the first goal and the pressure was on uh took us to the second half uh before we came back into it diakite getting the first goal i believe it is um sort of hitting it over the keeper in a weird fashion uh, and then Henriquez gets a couple first one bang bottom right hand corner absolute beauty and celebrates by sprinting away never runs that fit fast with the ball on the pitch but when he celebrates he's away and the second again little three ball and uh, Lewis Crabben's been playing very well I think he does get the final goal of the whole highlights package but um, yeah, he's been doing really well for me particularly in games we haven't won uh, so there's not that many highlights of him this is a 3-1 win in the FA Cup now we're into the FA Cup semi-final uh, in a couple of episodes time I'll no doubt bring you that semi-final against Arsenal so uh, so that's exciting but yeah we beat Premier League opposition which is good news uh, Leicester took a 3-1 pounding to us I think that was Bonner with the goal. No, Bonner with the penalty, sorry. And then uh, Vardy got a consolation for them. Uh, we were 3-0 up in this game, which was very surprising. That was kind of in the middle of this run, but the fixtures at the bottom are just the last five league results. Um, in case you were wondering, I got confused. Now, finally, I didn't mention we were going to play Wigan, but they're so not in this sort of title race, then I thought it'd be pointless. So I played this, and today we're going to play Burnley instead, which is going to be a little bit more exciting. And you know, the first goal coming from Kenny Mack pops it in. And then finally, to finish us off, Lewis Graben, the defenders part like the Red Sea, the ball's put in by Ayard, and uh, near post, Lewis Graben grabs one, and it's good to say that again, let me tell you. So uh, yeah, we'll move on into the game. So here we are, the live portion of the game. Now I mentioned Lewis Graben uh, a moment ago, 5-5, five five. Uh, he's played 8 games, 5 starts, 5 goals, I've got to be pleased with it, right? Surely, like 3 three uh, goals in the, in the league, 2 in the cup, I assume. And two assists. So he's come in 7.07. Pretty good for a loan from Norwich in the Championship. You've got to be pleased with it. Can't complain. And we're going with two up top. We're playing Graben and uh, Bonner up top. Ayard on the right. McAvoy uh, on the left with Reeves and McCann. The reason Reeves and McCann are playing uh, Mason struggling for fitness. Gallagher. Oh, I would play a guy in behind the striker, but Graben's playing very well, so I want to keep him on the pitch. Uh, elsewhere, Diakite suspended. Enriquez, Luongo, uh, and Rogers all injured too. So we've got a few midfield absentees. But anyway, a game against uh, Burnley, and oh, we've got to win it, because if we don't, they are right on our tail. Uh, we're going to start attacking, because we've been doing too many games recently, which haven't been attacking. They've been poor, and just soft, and weak, and feeble. Uh, and as I say, we've lost quite a few games recently. They're playing a very weirdly narrow formation, and we play quite a wide formation, so hopefully this can work out for us quite well. Enjoy yourselves out there, boys. Uh, yeah, I have faith in you. Go out there, do some solid defensive work, make some differences in that. That's what you have to say, isn't it? Right then, uh, obviously just one game today, so we'll kick it off in 3D. We'll speed up the highlights just a little tad, and that's a trippier trip a minute in. And after 10 minutes, it's still 0-0. So highlight packed for the first 10 minutes. Um, but if we can not concede first, we've always got a good chance. We've only had a couple of comebacks this season. And they've not been too good. Danny Ings is playing well. Actually, this seems a little bit quick. And so quick that they've scored early on, which is a shame. Let's slow this down a little bit. Um, Kadri with the goal. Not a player I'm familiar with, actually. And who's to blame on our side then? So Danny Ings get a little, gets a little bit of space. They, they can overload our middle quite a lot, which is going to be a problem because we've only got two guys in there, really. And then a back line. What I might do to try and counteract that um, is push higher up. Now, I don't really... Uh, it's not my favourite thing to do because we're, we're pushing deep, but I don't want to give them too much space in the middle. So if we can squeeze the middle of the pitch, um, that may well give us a better chance of success. Highlights are, highlights are in key. They are indeed. Uh, come on then, Kenny boy. What you got for us? Oh, he's racing down this left side. He's a wing wizard. Ball into the middle. Bonner not, heads it down. Reeves 
Go on, ARs. Straight away. Oh, we'll tell you what, the comeback's on. We're uh, we're doing it. I, I was going to say a phrase from Bruce Almighty. If you're familiar with Bruce Almighty, you'll know the phrase doing it something style. And uh, yeah, it's not appropriate for this sort of moment. I've ruined a good goal with profanity. Uh, Reeves, insert ARs, who drills it low. He doesn't score many goals, actually. He's more of a uh, pass before the assist kind of guy. I've been, uh, been noticing. Anyway, here we go again. He whips the, whips the ball in, clears by Trippier, gets it back. He's already got a goal to his name, so he may well be looking for another one. McCann plays it back out to him. If he can burst down the line and get a ball in, I feel like we've always got a chance. Whips it back post. McAvoy's up to it, and he heads it into the side netting. But some good pressure after going 1-0 down. Obviously, we're trying to squeeze them. I, I mentioned the fact we push forward. Um, hopefully... It does the job for us because we're winning against Burnley. I should have explained the league situation better, really, but I failed to do so. So we'll do it now. Um, we are four points ahead of Burnley going into this game. They are on 68 points. A win here, and we don't guarantee ourselves promotion by any means, but we put ourselves in a really strong position. Um, a loss here, and they are a point behind us, right on our tail. We've got some tough games coming up as well. Um, I'm happy with the performance so far. I think it's been okay. So we'll we'll go out there and continue to do the business. So yeah, as you can see, we're, we're almost guaranteed a playoff spot. I can't see us not getting that now, uh, which is amazing, really. I thought we'd be challenging like maybe fourth, fifth this season. We had like a decent year last year, and you just missed out on the playoffs. So I thought we could go again and maybe come close. As we, uh, we we made some good signings, that was the key. Getting a few key guys up front. If we can get another goal here, though. That would put us in a very strong position as uh, Kenny's out on the left. Come on, Kenny boy, whip it in. Lovely ball. Reeves. Oh, it's cleared, and now Danny Ings can start a potential counter attack. But if we win the ball back, oh, now this is where we're being turned. But we are doing quite a high line, so we've got some pressure on. And Danny Ings has started the move. Is he going to finish it for Burnley? Great defensive tackle, but number 25, I think. I'm not sure who number 25 is. There he is. Oh, of course it is. Maloka. Could it be anybody else? Ball in, and he wins the header again. And Matuk just about gets it away. Now, Steven and Zonzi playing his trade in the championship. Decent player in this game, so a bit surprising. And that's a weird moment. But we've won the ball back, and Amakan clears, and the pressure is off early in the second half. Now, oh, continuing on, this highlight may never end. Are they going to come forward again? Which is a little bit worrying because they've been in control of the ball. Yeah, their goal scorer's got it now. That looked like a bit of a foul from behind, but we'll take it. And now, uh, can Kenny find the killer pass? Ayard, can he use the overlap, or is he going to go on his own? That's the question. He's got pace about him, so he could do so. Plays a lovely through ball to Graben. Graben with a great ball down the channel. Rips it to the back post. Bonner. Oh, it's a fantastic save. And off the bar. Wait, is it? did it hit the bar twice? Maybe it hit the bar twice. It looked like a save from my angle. <sighs> Bonner's picked up a knock. Um, so we could make a change pretty soon. I think we'll wait till about 65, 70. I'm quite happy. We're, we're away from home, remember? So a draw is no disgrace. But here they are again. This might force a change if a goal is scored. Ball into the middle. Can we clear it? Just about do so. And now Reeves, can we start a counter-attack with Lewis Graben? He's on it, and he takes on his man. Good. We've got The overlap is in full effect. Thompson, our right-back, was the first to meet it. Ayard, if he can get there first, clearance from Burnley. And that may well end the highlight. So 75 minutes gone. Uh, whew, it's tricky to know what to do here, because I don't want to risk too much. But at the same time, I don't want to just lose. Um... I think we'll put Graben up as the advance forward because we're away from home so we'll go a little bit more reserved I guess and we'll bring on mm, choices I think we'll bring Gallagher on obviously Mason's struggling a little bit bring Gallagher on as an advanced playmaker if we get a free kick or something he is deadly from those so I fancy us if we get one <sighs> okay let's go again press start then because that always helps come on then Bonner's gone off hopefully he's not injured obviously we've already got Enriquez out um, which is bit of a problem at the uh, the key part of the season come on then are we going to get something from the game or is it going to fizzle out I've stayed attacking all game I've, I've not sat back on this um, but we've definitely seemed to have squeezed the pressure further up the pitch they were they were having the best of it early doors and we seem to have stopped it so a draw wouldn't be the worst result unless we can break here and get ourselves a win Lewis Graben what have you got for us son oh Gallagher's played it through Reeves now oh it's a great tackle from them to be fair time is not over though if we play it forward early we may still have a chance, but it looks like this game's going to fizzle out unless Lewis Grubbin can uh, can find something. Thompson, and that's going to be game. A 1-1 draw away at Burnley. Hmm. I didn't really think about a draw. I thought we'd either win or get hammered, frankly. Uh, but I'll take that. I think that still leaves us in second place. Still with a four-point cushion with six games to go. 
uh, and let's have a little look at who we're going to be playing next. Now, I think the next episode may well be the climax to the season uh, with some added little bits in between. Like, as you see here, Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-final. A trip to Wembley for the Swindon lot. Who knew? Who knew we'd be making our way down to London or across to London or near London um, to face Arsenal? So it may well be the last three games of the season when I see you next. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, of course, subscribe to the channel. I'm from me, Dr. Benji. Until next time, goodbye.